Hey guys, Dom again. I promised this video for a very long time since I had uh, GPU problems and I had to replace a whole bunch of components and I'm finally done for now. Uh, probably for a long while since uh, I'm getting into RC uh, aircrafts and uh, helicopters anyways. So I'll be focusing on that a bit more until uh, something really uh, new catches my eye. So I'll bring you around the system and uh, I've done a lot of unboxing on some of these components, but I'll still bring you around uh, up to speed. So if you want to check uh, individual unboxings and uh, more information on one particular pro product, you can uh, you can check my uh, unboxing. So here I got the LG BH12 Blu-ray burner slash uh, player and DVD burner and all that stuff. All right. Moving on to the hard drives. All right. So this is a Western Digital Green 1.5 terabyte hard drive. We got two of these. I can run these in uh, RAID 0 as well, but I didn't get along to it since I've got about one terabyte of information on the other one. So this is a SATA 2 interface and it's a 32 meg cache. All right, and here I got OCZ Vertex 2. These are 120 gig versions of them. I got two of them running in RAID 0. So yeah, I just glued them. Well, I didn't glue them. I just put some tape. All right. So I got a lot of reviews to do on a lot of these components. So. Uh, probably see some of those, so we'll move on to my time controller. So let's try to get all of it. Alright, so here's the Scythe Case Master, 6 channel fan controller. Um, it's a very good fan controller. Uh, got a lot of good features and uh, all that stuff. It's all manual controls. So here I got my CPU temperature. Alright, I got a temperature plug inside my uh, reservoir. and also got a temperature sensor inside the GPU reservoir. Alright, I uh, got the fans running at 12, 1200 RPMs, pretty much. It fluctuates, but that's what I got running at, so it's bearable. So we'll move on to the pumps here. So right here, as you can see the part number, these are MCP 350s. Uh, I had a 355, I had to replace it with another 350, which is the CPU loop, so now they're both running great. Um, these are by Swiftec, obviously. I got some uh, bits power compression fittings all the way throughout the PC. And I got four of these uh, 90 degree angle swivel. Swivel uh, fittings by bits power as well. I got some on the pumps and two of them on the GPUs. Water blocks. So. And I also got the XSPC uh, acrylic top covers for both of the pumps. So apparently there's better flow and all that stuff and I single sleeve some 5mm uh, LEDs and also some 3mm LEDs throughout the whole motherboard and all the water blocks and everything that supported uh, LEDs so I single sleeve these with high quality sleeving. Uh, if it ever focus. If I move up top here, there you go. Some pretty high quality sleeving there. So I've done all that. I also uh, designed and uh, built my own uh, LED uh, controller. This is powered by a 4-pin Molex. As you can see, it's not that professional. It's ungluing. I have to find better tape. All shrink wrap, double shrink wrap, uh, sh heat shrink on the wires so the sleeving won't pull out. So I got a shrink wrap, uh, shrink tube underneath the sleeving and on top of it. So there's no way in hell that the sleeving is going to separate. And uh, let's move on to the power supply. I have done an unboxing on this power supply, but I had to reformat my computer and I didn't think of saving the video. So this is a Silverstone Strider 1500 watt power supply. All right, this is one of the biggest uh, wattage power supply to date. So I got that. So let's move on to whatever's on top of the power supply. These are, um, this is by EK. I got the anti-cyclone plate installed to them. I'm pretty shaky. So these are um, 150 millimeters. Uh, I've done unboxing on these components as well. I've got some Primo Chill PC Pure uh, clear liquid. Um, these are the uh, EK Multi Option Reservoir X2. These are the advanced version. As you can see, this uh, anti-cyclone plate inside. That's uh, that comes with the advanced version of it. So let's move on. Let's get to the nit and gritty of the system. So. I've done unboxing on this ramp. I'm not using the cooler as uh, the video card's uh, first PCI slot. It's pretty close to the to the ramp. So here's the kit. 
This is a Corsair Dominator GT, 12 gigs. All right, so this is a four times three. As you can see, it's 2,000 megahertz of RAM. Uh, it's C9 timing, so rated at 1.65 volts. So I got that running in here. It's running at its uh, stock speeds right now, so don't worry about that. So let's move on to the CPU CPU water block. I got some uh, three millimeter white LEDs installed to them, so they light up red. So this is the EK HF uh, Supreme HF. I'm sorry. It's got a uh, bits per hour compression fittings installed to them, and underneath the CPU cooler or water block, I should say, there's a Intel Core i7. 990X, that's the extreme processor. Alright, so that's a uh, thousand three hundred dollars uh, less rich than I was, but that's okay. It's all worth it for benchmarking since I reached uh, 50,000 on Vantage and I'm gonna bring it more than that very soon. Alright, uh, here's my motherboard water block. This is also by EK. This is the ASUS Rampage 3 motherboard. So it's all cooled by this uh, EK, the MOSFETs, the North Bridge and South Bridge, all cooled by this water block, which is nice. I got some 3mm LEDs installed onto there, and I installed the, the red piece, so yeah, that's really nice. Um, what I got to say about this motherboard, it's a really nice motherboard. Um, I ditched my classified 4-way uh, uh, SLI by EVGA for this motherboard, since this one seems to work better, and I'm getting pretty decent benchmarks so far. So that's good. Uh, also to note on this motherboard, there's these uh, PCIe uh, disable switches. And what I really like is the reset and start button, or should I say power button, are right up there. Instead of being underneath one of the GPUs, it's right up there. So pretty much just uh, one more thing to show. So here I got, well I got a few things to show more. Here I got my four-way crossfire 6970s. These are not the 6950s. Bio, uh, BIOS update to um, 6970. These are true 6970s. As you can see, it's got one 8 pin and one 6 pin. So I got four of these running in Crossfire, Crossfire X, I'm sorry. And I, on all of them, I got the exact same EK. I've done unboxing and installation on this water block, but just for, uh, just since I'm showcasing it, this is the EK FC 6970 full cover water block by EK. Does a really good job, keeps the temps down. Uh, it gets about 56 on load, full load for hours and hours of gaming. I also got them the auxiliary power. I got both of them plugged in since I'm running four cards. So, so I forgot to mention a few things. Um, well, as you can see here, for my pumps, I extended my motherboard with. Uh, I bought some sheet metal and some square uh, square tubing or pretty much square tubing underneath there and uh, I raised up and extended my motherboard a little further. I don't know if you can see better this way. So the motherboard tray finishes there and I extended it since my, my pump was uh, the fitting that was resting on top of this um, this, uh, this PWM uh, fan uh, fan plug so, so I raised that so that's pretty good. So I fabricated that and I forgot a few things. I forgot to mention the rats and tubing. So this is a uh, two MCR 320 rats. So let's see they're independent from each other. It's not just one big rat. So MCR 320 with six Apollo uh, Enermax Apolish Vegas red fans. Um, I just got them on a stock setting and which is just on plain on. I, li I, li I sort of like it that way. And then about the tubing, I got some red and black. So the black signifies the GPU cooling hoses, and the red is the CPU or motherboard, and everything has to do with the CPU, anyways. So this is a three three eight inch inner diameter, and five eighths outer diameter for both of the for both of them. So that's what I wanted to add. All right, guys. So I I just installed CPU Z. This is the ROG or the ROG version of it since I got the Rampage 3 Extreme motherboard. So I'm running at 1.42 volts right now. Um, Intel Core i7-990X Extreme Edition CPU. Alright, this is a revision B1, step in 2. So right now, as you can see, it's running at 4624.1 4, megahertz at a 
times 32 multiplier. So it's at 4.6 gigahertz, really. Um, 